Good afternoon. The practice of law is a profession. It's also a business, the business of delivering legal services to clients. As a business, it faces many of the same challenges that face other industries. In competitive markets, businesses are constantly challenged to improve their product, their performance, and their profitability, not only to survive, but to thrive. The legal marketplace is competitive, as we're all painfully aware. Sophisticated clients are demanding greater value, which in general terms means some combination of lower costs, better quality, data analytics and insights, and ease of use or ease of doing business. Other industries have improved their performance, their products, their profitability by leveraging a variety of proven business strategies, process improvement, workflow management, knowledge management, project management, outsourcing and offshoring, all part of an ongoing continuous improvement cycle and focus. By combining state-of-the-art technology with those proven business strategies, other businesses have transformed their industries for the benefit of their customers and their own profitability. The legal service industry is undergoing a similar transformation now, with entrepreneurial attorneys and savvy business people exploring new and innovative ways to deliver legal services in a more efficient and cost-effective manner. This conference is about the future of law. Before you can create the future, you need a strategic vision as to what that future will look like. What future do you want to create for your firm? What will your clients likely demand of your firm in the future? Once you have that strategic vision in mind, you can begin to create your future. At Hickey Smith, our strategic vision was to create a state-of-the-art technology-enabled platform that would allow us to deliver greater value to our clients and more efficiently and cost-effectively manage our business. To achieve our vision, our future state platform had to allow us to use those various project management strategies I just mentioned to more efficiently manage not only our legal work, but our business, to reduce our internal costs, and more importantly, deliver, to reduce the costs ultimately charged to our clients. In addition, our future state platform had to allow us to use those same strategies to improve the consistency and quality of our work product, easily capture uh, data elements and critical case insights as we performed our work, and facilitate secure, secure real-time two-way communication with our clients through a client portal. Lastly, from a technology perspective, our platform needed to allow us to easily integrate numerous applications into a seamless, scalable platform from which we could work virtually anywhere in the world and which would maximize our ability to securely manage and protect our clients' data and confidential information. These key objectives guided us as we selected technology applications to build our platform as well as develop the proprietary intellectual property required to create our vision. Before you can see the potential benefit of applying project management strategies to the practice of law, you first need to see that the mechanics of the practice of law can largely be described as a series of related and repeatable processes. In building our platform, we started by identifying at a high level all of the macro processes that we use to manage our work and our business. So example of macro processes would be client onboarding or conduct discovery. Once we identified all the macro processes, that we then identified all of the underlying sub-processes. So for conduct discovery, a couple of the uh, sub-processes would be respond to interrogatories, propound request to produce, et cetera. Once we identified the sub-processes, we deconstructed them, basically breaking them down into all the steps required to perform that process, as well as identifying all the people, systems, and inputs required to do that process. This is known as process mapping. Process mapping allows you to visually describe the end-to-end -end sequence of steps required to perform a process, as well as all the inputs and people and systems that somehow touch that process. It allows you to much more easily identify where you have redundancies, rework, bottlenecks, and other inefficiencies in your current process. It also allows you to easily identify, much more easily identify, where you have improvement opportunities in terms of productivity, quality, and efficiency, and, and cost. This is a uh, simple proce process map. <laughs> this is a very simple process map. <laughs> Once you have deconstructed a process, you can begin to put the pieces back together 
to create the new, more efficient, more cost-effective process or workflow. To create each new workflow, you must carefully consider what is the most efficient sequence of tasks to complete that process. What tasks can be automated and to what degree? What's the right level and type of staff resource that can most cost-effectively perform each step? What inputs, resources, or other tools do we need, such as embedded instructions, checklists, templates, training materials, or other technology applications that will allow us to improve productivity, reduce cost, or, or enhance quality for that process? Now, workflows can be as simple as a handful of steps, as in this example, or they can be numerous steps, depending on the complexity of the process. Once developed, a workflow can be easily customized as necessary to accommodate differences in staffing models, client preferences, jurisdictional issues, or type of matter. <clears throat> Each workflow becomes a key component of your overall end-to-end -end series of related processes. As such, your library of workflows basically becomes the menu from which your attorneys select to execute the different components of your customized case strategy for a particular matter. Now, workflow technology applications tend to come with a handful of basic workflows. But the real value of those applications is the set of tools that they give you that allows you to create as many workflows with as much detail and variety as may be necessary to create your vision. Workflow technology also allows you to more effectively monitor and manage the progress of your work. Now, when an attorney launches a workflow, he or she sets a master deadline for completion of that process. The workflow application then assigns all of the tasks in the workflow to the appropriate members of the case team, based on their role on the file, with individual deadlines to ensure the work is completed by the master deadline. Attorneys can monitor all of the tasks on a file or all of the tasks on his or her portfolio of files to ensure that deadlines are met. In addition, your operations staff can run reports to monitor task completion and deadlines. Technology gives you the tools to keep matters moving forward in a much more proactive and transparent manner. Knowledge management basically addresses how your firm captures, organizes, and leverages the internal knowledge, expertise, and even data of your firm. Technology allows you to embed that expertise, the best thinking, the best work product, the best practices of your firm into your platform to not only save time and reduce costs, but also to enhance the consistency and the quality of your work product. For each task in a given workflow, Embedded instructions provide basic guidance as to how to perform that task. Those instructions can be minimal or extensive based on the complexity or criticality of the task. The point is, those instructions are developed by your more exper experienced attorneys and captured once for use by anyone to whom that task will be assigned in the future. Embedded instructions ensure that your staff is getting consistent guidance as to how to perform their work, thereby enhancing the consistency and the quality of your work product. Task instructions can also refer team members to specific checklists in your library of checklists. Checklists can provide general guidance as to the key issues to be considered as you perform a piece of legal work. In addition to general guidance, checklists can also provide jurisdictional specific guidance and insights, including rules, uh, case citations, and statutes, as well as links to the source material should anyone need to review it in greater detail. A robust set of well-developed checklists ensure that your staff is getting consistent guidance as to the critical factors to be considered when performing legal work, thereby enhancing the consistency and the quality of your work product. <clears throat> There's a variety of applications that allow you to create templated documents. Again, templated documents allow you to save time and reduce costs, but also enhance the quality of your work product. Templated documents can take a variety of forms, pleadings, motions, uh, discovery requests, letters, client reports, etc. Uh, it can be as simple as approved form interrogatories for a given state, or it can be more complex documents that are only partially templated. If there is a document or a form that your firm uses routinely, a template can be created and added to your library 
of templates. The objective is to create the best version or versions of that document for everyone in the firm to use. Technology also allows you to capture key data elements and critical case insights as you perform your work. Now, a simple example would be capturing basic information about a case or the parties um, or counsel during matter setup. More sophisticated applications use questionnaires to capture information that not only populates aspects of templated documents, but also populates a database. So rather than having this key information trapped in countless documents and numerous files that cannot be effectively data mined, that information is now in a database that can be used for a variety of internal purposes, as well as for client-focused metrics and insights. Part of our strategic vision, as I mentioned, was the creation of a secure client portal. So key appointments, documents, messages, and tasks can be uploaded in real time and accessed by the client at his or her convenience to maintain a handle on the status of the case. This is an example of a value add from the client's perspective and something that makes our firm easier to use for our clients. Data security. Clients are becoming more and more concerned about data security, and they should be if we consider all the stories we read about in the media about data breaches, including data breaches of law firms. As we become more and more dependent on technology, data security becomes more and more of a critical issue. Now, law firms can become data security certified in whole or in part. It's known as ISO 27001. It's not easy. It takes a strong commitment by firm leadership as well as the right resources, technology, policies, training, et cetera, to make it happen. However, if they're not doing so already, clients will soon be demanding that all of their partners, including their law firms, be data security certified if they want to handle their work. This will be table stakes for law firms in the very near future. Technology is enabling law firms to take full advantage of the proven business strategies that have transformed other industries. If law firms want to not only survive, but thrive in the future marketplace for legal services, they need to embrace technology and those business strategies that have helped other industries improve their performance, their products, and their profitability. As we discussed earlier, the future starts with a vision. What is the vision of the future for your firm and your clients? The tools are available today to help you make that vision of the future a reality. Is your law firm ready for the future?